mom and dad. Oh boy. We love you, John! gracious call from Councilman David Yasky, former rival in this race. <laughs> David, David Yasky ran an extraordinary campaign. He was aggressive, no question. He did what he needed to do to win, but he was very gracious. He was gracious, and I know Dave Yasky loves this city as much as I do. And in the coming months and years, I expect that we will work closely on the issues that matter most to the people of New York City. And no, one, no one appreciates the wonder and possibility of New York City better than me. I got an eight-year-old here. <laughs> when, <laughs> when my parents came to this country to provide a better life for me and my two younger brothers, we came here with hope and determination, as millions of immigrant families did before us and even today. And we were taught that the inherent promise of this great city and country that if you work hard, meet your obligations, recognize the social responsibility belong, that belongs to each of us, that you will have every opportunity to do better for yourself and your family. And this certainly is the lesson I've learned tonight, and it is because of all of you. Yeah. Yeah. standing here before you today without the incredible support and love of my best friend, my partner, someone I've known since I was 19 years old. Last week we celebrated our 14th anniversary. Please do not ask her what we did on our anniversary. <laughs> Jenny, it wasn't on the public schedule. <laughs> Jenny Lou! sleep when I didn't come home yet then for these last few weeks he's grinned and bared it and of course my parents 
really, what I have done today with all of your help would not have been possible without the many sacrifices that they've been through their entire lives, and certainly in the last few weeks. My mom and dad, Jamie and Joseph Liu. I want to thank my team, Lou, the best political team in town. Led by May Rue. Chiuca Cornelius. Tito Marcali. Chum Sito. Juanita Scarlett. Sharon Lee. Josh Gold. Kirsten John Foy. over these many, many months. And I want to thank all of the elected officials, our labor leaders, our community and civic leaders who helped me along the way, gave me their endorsements, were out there with me campaigning on the phones, on the streets, and worked so hard to help win this campaign. Thank you very much and a special thanks to... to Mike Mulgrew, the President of the United Nations. Yeah! They graciously hosted today, and I will note that in countries abroad, today, yesterday, and tomorrow, it's also known as Teacher's Day, a national holiday that celebrates confusion. give a special acknowledgement to George Gresham and Kevin Finnegan and many others at 1199. <laughs> <laughs> and the at the Hotel Trades Council and so many of the liberal leaders as well as Dan Cantor from the Working Families Party. <laughs> and I want to thank all of you tonight. All of my loyal supporters who have stood with me, campaigned with me, and on my this campaign to change the future of New York City. <laughs> and along the way, we certainly had the strong support of CSEA. District leaders, too many to acknowledge right now, but I certainly will do so. And DC 37, Lillian Roberts, she has been such a great person. I want to make sure that we understood that we had a cross-section of support from New Yorkers. I was very proud to have earned, earned the support of Citizens Union. I am grateful for that support as well as Citizens Action of New York, Tennis Pack, so many other organizations, and certainly our political leaders across the city, Congressman Joe Crowley. And Chairman Cole and John Galino from Staten Island Committee. This is a cross-section of New Yorkers that I'm very proud of. And not only have these organizations and individuals been involved, but we won this election in the streets. And without necessarily the support of established media and political observers. But instead, I was so proud to have the support of Amsterdam News. Gay City News. Sing Tao and Ming Pao Daily and the Manhattan Jewish Sentinel.
and we won this election because of this grassroots movement that we built over the many months of this campaign and long before it began. I'm so proud of the diverse and broad coalition of supporters we amassed. People from every borough and every background which should send a strong message to each and every one of us that there is as much at stake for the future of this city. And I know that there will be stories tomorrow about the significance of having the first Asian American to win the Democratic nomination. I never forget all of those who ran for office before I did, and I learned a lesson from each one of those pioneers. I believe they are all in this room right now. Thank you so much for leading the way so someone like me can run for citywide office. And today, today is the first day that I begin to act my vision of what the Comptroller's Office can do for the people of New York City. I envision a city where our schools run efficiently yeah. and provide the best education for our children. Where our transportation system is the most effective in the world, moving people to and from good paying jobs, and where every man, every woman, every child, and every worker has the same opportunity to provide a better life for their families. And where responsibility in government spending is a guarantee, not merely a campaign promise. The people of this city deserve fiscal responsibility in how government spends their hard-earned tax dollars and they deserve a public servant who fights every day for their interests, not the special interests. When I'm elected in November, I will ensure that our public dollars are invested wisely to generate a revenue stream for communities throughout New York City to create jobs that are so desperately needed. I will ensure accountability and equal opportunity when billions of federal stimulus dollars arrive to ensure jobs stay in New York City. And we will invest in New York's infrastructure to save our crumbling roads and bridges. We will invest in our minority and women-owned business enterprise to give everyone And we will invest in our workforce by creating jobs and expanding affordable housing. My experience in the City Council has given me a great appreciation for the role government can play to strike a balance between providing a sound business climate while, while protecting the interests of everyday New Yorkers. And so we will send a strong message also to the business community that we are open for business. And if you are prepared to create jobs for the people, we will do everything to help you thrive. Through smart and strategic investments, we can and we will bring prosperity back to New York City and protect the pensions that people have worked their whole lives to save up for. I will need your support to get New York's economy back on track to ensure that New York City is truly the best place to live and work for our families. I will still need you to win in November, and I will work hard every day to improve the quality of life for the people of New York City. I don't know what more to say except thank you. Thank you, New York! Hi, my name is Aranci. I want you to subscribe to Les Cinco Aquina.